Another story that happened between Ibn Baz and Albani. Shaykh Al-Albani, rahimahullah, he used to drive very fast and he believed the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu of riding your beast fast. By the way, I'm not encouraging you guys to do that. I'm, don't drive fast on the road. Follow the law and stay safe, brothers, okay? Like in Albani used to drive very, very fast. SubhanAllah, even one time his car tumbled over. Um, he had an accident and the car tumbled over. But he was a very fast driver. In Medina, he was well known. Albani that he used to drive fast in Medina. So they told Ibn Baz. Albani was also a teacher in Jam Islamiyah, Medina. And who was the dean of the university? A Sheikh Ibn Baz. Sheikh Ibn Baz was the what? The dean of the university. So they told him, they said, Sheikh, Albani drives fast and he's, he does this and he believes this is a sunnah min sunnah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa hakada. What do you say? Shaykh Ibn Ubal said it's haram, la yajuz, and it's not, and he gave his fatwa. They came and they told the fatwa to Shaykh Albani. Shaykh Albani read the fatwa, or he, he was informed of the fatwa, and then he said, Shaykh Ibn Albani saying this. There's a qa'ida in usul al-fiqh, which is, al-hukmu ala shay'un far'un an tasawuri. In order to give a ruling on something, you have to have perception, right? He said, Ibn Baz is blind, he can't see. He can't see, he's given a ruling on something he can't see. So we won't take it. They took the fatwa to Sheikh Ibn Baz and they said, Sheikh Ibn Baz Albani said this. <laughs> Sheikh Ibn Baz said, Sahih, he's right. He's given a fatwa on something that he also hasn't perceived. He's never been in an accident where he's killed someone where he had to pay blood money. Are we all together? He's used the same qa'idah of Ibn Sheikh al-Bani rahimahullah. Ala kulli hal, they had nothing against each other. This is their, their way of loving one another. And subhanAllah, one time, three of them met in Hajj. Who were the three? Sheikh Ibn Baz and Sheikh Al-Albani and Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin. They met each other in Hajj. And the pe- this was in Arafah. And the people wanted to ask questions. So Sheikh Ibn Baz said to the people, anyone who has a... Imagine, it's a momentous time. It's the three biggest men in the world at that time. So Sheikh Ibn Baz said, anyone who has any hadith-related questions, that the question is going to be directed towards who? Sheikh Al Albani. And if the question is Aqidah related, Sheikh Ibn Baz said, I will answer it. And if it's fiqh related, Sheikh, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen is going to answer it. So they were, they, were distribu- they were distributing the questions like that. Aqidah came, Ibn Baz. Fiqh came, Ibn Uthaymeen. Hadith related question, Albani. The questions finished, Salah time came. Everyone is waiting who's going to lead the salah. Because they go, oh, three of them can't lead. Who's going to lead? Only one person. They stood up. By the way, keeping in mind, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen is roughly 20 something or maybe even 30 years younger than both of the Ibn Baz and Albani. He's very young, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen. Compared to Albani Ibn Baz. So Ibn Baz said to Sheikh Al Albani, lead us. No, Sheikh Ibn Baz. Albani said to Ibn Baz, no, you lead. This is where it was the most emotional moment, which is Sheikh Ibn Baz said to Sheikh Al Albani, you lead us in the prayer and teach us, educate us of how the prayer of the Prophet ﷺ was. Albani, teach us the salah of the Prophet ﷺ. From the salam, from the takbir to the salam. And Shaykh Albani already has on this what? He has a kitab called Sifa Salat al Nabi min takbir ila taslim ka'annaka taraha. And so Sheikh Al-Albani stood up and he led the prayer and he did his salah. This shows what? The relationship between these great imams. May Allah wa ta'ala have mercy upon each and every one of them. 
It's ajib. They died all one year after. They were all three of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Omar, yeah, yeah. And two years, I think, between. Ibn Uthaymin was the last person to die. Ibn Baz died first, Albani next, and then Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin. And the presence of these three Imams had, to be very honest, had Ahl Sunnah united all around the world. Sidqan. If you lived that time, or even if you read it, the division that came after their death was apparent, it was clear. Even, subhanAllah, when they differed upon their fatwas, their fatwas, if they differed on a mas'ala, a fatwa, Shaykh Ibn Abbas said something, Ibn Uthaymin said something, Albani said something, if it happened, brothers, if that happened, you could always see the division amongst the Muslims. And when they died, of course, the division was what? No. May Allah resurrect us with the righteous people, the prophets and the scholars and the people of knowledge.